Hello everybody, this is Warrior Dan. Jumping back into a game I haven't played for a while on this channel, that game being TF2, Team Fortress 2. So Valve finally decided to release the long-awaited Jungle Inferno update, commonly referred to by the community as the Pyro update. This update brought with it a ton of changes to how TF2 is played, and while I'm not going to go into the details on all that, as you can look at the change log on TF2.com, I do want to talk a bit about Banana Bay, one of the new community maps added as part of this update. So without further ado, let's get into it. Banana Bay is a community-made payload race map, where both teams fight to push their cart along a rail towards its destination, while simultaneously attempting to prevent the enemy team from doing the same with their cart. On most maps, this can lead to chaos, with half of your team focusing on chasing down enemies, while the other half of the team stays near the cart and attempts to push their way through the mayhem. Speaking as a longtime TF2 player, players in Team Fortress 2 are not usually very good at communicating or cooperating with their teammates, and the game isn't really structured in a way that would force teammates to depend on one another. So expecting some kind of team cohesion in a map like this is unlikely at best. I played this map primarily as Pyro and the Engineer, and found that there were a lot of really great flanking opportunities, and the map overall has a great feeling of being simultaneously feeling very open, while also feeling in some areas very condensed. There are many great open areas ideal for snipers, soldiers, and heavies, while on the other hand, there are also more subtle secret passageways ideal for spies, engineers, and pyros. That's really the strongest, most likable aspect of the map, the vast, varying opportunities offered to each class. No matter what character you're playing, there are specific map areas ideal for them. After playing a few rounds on all the new maps, Banana Bay is probably my favorite among them all, mainly because of how compatible it is with all the different characters, something that's more easily said than done. It seems the community map makers have once again done a better job at map making than the Valve staff themselves have. Credit to the Valve TF2 team for putting this update together, and a lot of credit to the incredibly talented map makers responsible for creating this map and the other community maps with it to life in this new update. While I don't believe this update will be the saving grace of TF2, the update that brings the entire community back to the game, I do think that this is a great update for the community. I just wish Valve more consistently put out updates like this. Because TF2 is always going to be one of my favorite games, but sadly, in its current state, I'm not going to continue playing it. I'll play it when new updates come out, but it's not a game I'm going to keep on my computer for long. I wish the Valve team all the best of luck with future updates, and I hope that the next update does not take a year to make, like this one did. This is Warrior Dan signing out. Stay awesome, everybody, and peace out. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. It helps me figure out what kind of content you guys enjoy, so that way I can continue making this channel even more fun in the future.